Hi friends, welcome back. Now let's do a very important topic of this chapter. Let us understand about the two types of changes in supply. So we have seen earlier that the determinants of supply are classified under two major categories. First is price and second are the factors other than price right we saw in the supply schedule also we saw supply function we saw that price was one factor and then there were four other factors right apart from price now when other factors are assumed to remain constant other factors are assumed to remain constant means the other four factors they are constant and price is varied price changes then there is expansion and contraction of supply this is what we just saw in the previous video right sorry this is what we just saw in this thing the expansion of supply we saw in this case as the price was increased the supply also expanded so the supply curve went like this right so this is it right the expansion and su contraction of supply will be based on the price right price will vary price changes other factors remain constant and when the price is held constant now see price is constant and other factors are varied right? so other factors vary then there is an increase and decrease in the supply so four words we should know first is expansion and contraction of supply and when will this occur when other factors are assumed to remain constant and price is varied then there is expansion or there is contraction uh, now which are the other factors the cost of production or the price of factor production that's first factor the number of sellers the level of technology government policies future expectations when right? Th that also is one um, a determinant future expectations of price these are the other factors based on this this is what we just saw in the uh, law of supply as the price of apples increases the supply of apples is now don't use the word increase it expands right see it is expanding remember this when the price varies other factors remains constant we are talking of expansion now look at point a point a is where the price is 70 and the supply is 600 so this is our mid let's say this is our midpoint right? this is the midpoint so at midpoint price is 70 supply is 600 kilograms if the price increases the supply also is increasing so you can see there's expansion supply sorry expanding i also use the wrong word as the price increases supply is expanding you see this thing as the price becomes 80 the supply is now 800 if the price becomes 90 the supply is 1000 so the supply is expanded this increased expanded right in common parlance we is, it is very easy for us to use word increase but remember expansion and contraction similarly when the price goes down from 70 it goes down to 60 look at the supply supply also previously was 600 now it has become 400 so it has contracted come ho gaya right suppliers contracted so it is see at price 50 supplies 200 only at price 50 supplies 200 so supplies contracted 
so that is expansion and contraction now remember one thing expansion and contraction are always on the same curve very very important to remember this expansion and contraction are always on the same curve see this is the uh, supply curve ss expansion and contraction are on the same curve the curve is not changing right okay guys got this idea now we talk of increase and decrease of supply when will this occur when one factor or a group of factors means some factors other than the price change in favor of the supply of a good then there is a rightward upward shift in the supply curve means if one factor or other factors change in the favor of supply right then what happens there's a upward shift in the supply curve like if the technology improves let us say technology improves simple the supply also will improve because with improvement of technology the price of the product will go down and so the custom uh, the producer has a better chance of earning more profit so he's going to increase the supply so in this case we are going to use the word increase but let us say the government policies are not conducive government has levied some taxes on an item in such a case the cost of production has gone up so the producer will now supply less because he's getting less profit from the market so supply will decrease so if the cost of production falls more profit the prices of factor of production fall so you can get it in lesser cost the state of technology will improve like what we just said up here or the number of suppliers in the market increase or the government policies change in favor of a product then even if price of a good remains constant price has not varied other factors have changed supply will increase and the entire supply curve shifts to the right see the whole new curve is formed on the contrary if these factors change against the supply then at the same price supply will decreases as the entire supply curve shifts to the left when this happens this happens when the cost of production has gone up or the prices of the factor production has risen the technology has become expensive number of suppliers has decreased or government policies have changed against the supply of the product and so on so the factors are favorable supply increases if the factors are unfavorable supply will decrease this is what we are seeing up here this curve is our main curve s1 s1 is our original supply curve right this is the original supply curve let us say the price in the either case the price is 20 only because the price has not changed price is stable 20 only but other factors have changed the price see constant in all cases but some other factor has changed and this is leading to a change that right? an increase or decrease in the supply if it occurs in favor the other factors are favorable the supply will increase and so this s3 s3 is the new curve point c is the new uh, see price is still stable but the supply has increased it has become now 400 units likewise if the other factors are unfavorable though the price is 20 rupees the supply has decreased and we get the new curve this curve s2 s2 is the new curve 
where the suppliers decrease suppliers come down to 200 kilogram only so at original of 300 if the factors are con um, conducive helpful supply increases if the factors are not conducive the supply decreases price remains same see price is still same okay so this is the increase or decrease of supply and that depends on the factors which are other than the price okay now let us just do the exceptions to the law of supply supply law will not work every time there are some times when this will not work which are they they are called the exceptions so the question that might arise now is does the law of supply have exceptions like the law of demand so those several exceptions are pointed out by some people they are technically debatable but exceptions to the law of supply will arise when supply of a good rises when the price falls means if supply will rise when price falls that is the inverse proportion here and reverse supply falls when price rises when other factors are held unchanged and this occurs by some exceptions the very first exception is about rare goods see certain goods are rare but jali asani se nahi milte so hence even if there is a significant rise in their prices their supply does not rise for example ancient coin ancient idols original manuscripts of books old books ancient handicrafts now they are rare means they are not found in large amount so even if the price increases the supply is still stable it cannot increase because they are not found only because such goods do not have any current production and therefore instead of considering these as exceptions to the law of supply they should be kept out of the study of supply means this they are not exceptions actually you can see ye to law of supply mein aayega hi nahi because supply hi nahi hai na there is no supply supply is fixed let's say ancient coins now if i say 1857 mein bane koi coin ki baat kar raha hu to 1857 mein jo coin bane the usme se maximum coin kho gaye and there are very few amount of coins of 1857 available in the market if someone is willing to pay me 1 lakh rupees for that coin not me but anybody so let's say some uh, a coin collector advertises in the market ke give me a coin of 1857 i am willing to pay 1 lakh rupees for it what do you think coin jada aayenge market mein obviously not because jitne hai utne hi market mein hai na naye coin market mein to hai hi nahi na so supply cannot increase supply is stable always that person is offering 2 lakh rupees still the supply will remain same because coin to jitne the utne hi hai na that is exception number 1 second exception is regarding perishable goods jo khala bigger jayenge goods will get spoiled fast so highly perishable goods like milk milk products green vegetables meat eggs fish ripe fruits flowers cannot be stored for a long time hence even if their price falls their supply will not contract as they cannot be preserved and hence must be sold right so this is a thing ke you cannot even uh, uh, keep it in uh, with you the price falls you cannot withdraw the supply and if price gets up you cannot increase the supply because wo bhi fix hai but with the price falls you cannot contract the supply why because they are perishable but again look at the exception however in modern times in current times with availability of cold storage even this exception is now debatable because even let's say i uh, you take um, green vegetables green vegetables can be cold storage the entire year and supplied whenever we required 
so that is all possible now so even this thing is a debatable topic okay so we just saw the two exceptions to the law of supply okay now a very important topic remains which will continue in the next video bye friends